Let me pour you a drink. Oh, that's okay. I'm not gonna be here long, and I kind of think I might need to drive you home. Why would you bother? You're Lucky's brother. We all need to figure out a way to get along. Not gonna happen. You know, Lucky is more upset with Luke than anyone else. You know, I seem to be the only one who's actually concerned about Luke. He never made it to Holly, and no one's heard from him. <laughs> well, he vanishes sometimes. That's just who he is, but you'll get used to it. And being fair, I don't think that you should have to deal with Lucky's anger. I don't know, love. Maybe I deserve it. Maybe I'm not the grifter with the heart of gold that I pretend to be. Why would you say that? Let's just say that if a long-lost relative drops out of the sky, there has to be an angle. A little too much too soon. Uh, I'm moving in's a big step. Yeah, that's true. It's a leap of faith. True as well. It's a matter of perspective, in a way. Where do I stand in relation to Emily? I'm not her. No, I know. You've helped me stop mourning her. I'm ready to start over. Do you think it's disrespectful to her? No. She'd want me to be happy. She'd want her sister to be happy, too. It's not going to be the same as living with her. Okay? I listen to really loud music. <laughs> I'm very cranky. Until I've had my morning coffee, I work really weird shifts, and uh, I'm definitely not Prince's material. Then maybe we should take a leap of faith. Huh? Throw all our fears up into the sky. Create order in our universe, start our own story. Say yes. Are you saying you would have been better off Living with the Quartermains than with me? All I knew was that you believed in me. Right? You trusted me to make my own choices. And you helped me create a life out of nothing. And now you regret it? What I regret... is that this life cost me Jake. Okay. Okay, I, come on, I know that I'm never gonna have a real family. Right. And at some point, I'm going to have to pay for everything that I've done. I'm not going to grow to be an old man, but that doesn't even matter because after my accident, the direction I was headed, I would have never survived this long without you. Hmm? You gave me the life that I have now, but that doesn't mean that I have to want Michael to have the same life. Well, sending him off to the quartermains is not the answer. He's going to have more options with the quartermains. He's been out of the hospital a month. I can't give up on my son. Do you think he's safe here, I, Sonny? I got guards in him 24-7. What about emotionally? I would never hurt my I'm son. Not, I'm not saying you would hurt your son. But you think living here in this house with Claudia is healthy? Seeing your business day in and day out? Do you want Michael to follow in our footsteps? No, I don't want Michael to follow in our footsteps. That's why I work so hard. So he can have everything. So he can have everything he wants. You're going to convince Sonny to move Michael to the Quartermains. I barely know the Quartermains. Well, for a start, they're his real family. They'll help him recover from the damage that you created. Sonny, I'll never let him go. I don't care how you do it, Claudia. But if you don't, I'll tell Sonny that you're responsible for Michael getting shot. It's that simple. So... Do you happen to have one of these DVDs I've heard so much about? Hmm? Did your insane brother give you one? Yes, he sent me one and I watched it. Where is it? It's beside the point. Sonny will believe me even if the evidence isn't complete. See, I have no reason to lie to him. But your life, your life will be over uh -huh. unless you get Michael out of Sonny's house. And what about Carly's life? Hmm? What's she gonna think, Jax, when she finds out you've known for months that your brother was involved in Michael's shooting? She better not. Mm. 
Well, if Sunny does, I'll make sure she does. If it's the last thing that I do. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs>